And today I'm going to be looking at Topaz Photo AI and I'm going to be comparing it directly to Topaz Gigapixel AI. I have five different photographs. This is the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, and fifth one. So here we are on Topaz Photo AI and it's already after rendering the first result there now. So um, just looking at that there now. So it's four times. I'm going to, I'm going to up, upscale all these by four times. That's the original. This is the end result. Now, how good does that look? It's four times. I'm going to go here. I'm going to look at natural first. I'm going to click on natural. Natural is very soft, soft and blurred and no detail here. That looks like something was generated in a computer, being straight up and honest. Um, graphics obviously is not going to work. Low resolution is probably a better option. And yes, that seems to be a small bit better. I just like the fact that there's a small bit more grain or a bit more detail or texture here in the feathers. Um, that is working better, if I were asked. So I've just saved the image. I'm going to get exactly the same photograph and we're going to pop this into Gigapixel AI. That's our original and that's the edited photograph. That's in resolution or low resolution. We're going to go to standard there now and see how that looks. Standard is good enough. That is very clean there now. Um, kind of like it. Again, it looks very CGI. Don't like the fact there isn't as much detail here. It, um, lines, obviously enough, is not going to work. No. Art and CG is going to look horrific. Yeah, that's fair enough. Low resolution is one of our better options. I liked a bit of detail here now and whatnot. Um, very compressed. No, definitely not. So it's either low resolution or standard. And I think these are the two I'm going to be varying across all the time. So standard or low resolution. I'm looking at low resolution more, but the one thing I'm noticing is, see these lines here? These lines all along here, and there's a bit of noise and whatnot here, and lines here, and here, and here. So, um, you're just going to go suppress noise. Uh, we'll bring that up along. That's helping. That's helping. I think somewhere around there. Um, if we go back to standard there now again. Yeah, there's just, there's no detail here. On the beak and on the, f it, it, it just looks like it's completely smooth. So I prefer the low resolution part. It gives a small bit more definition and whatnot there. Uh, the only thing is to say I don't like is this piece, but if I just zoom back out along a small bit, yeah, I'm just not gone about that. But maybe we can adjust this. That is better there now, but you'll notice, see all this stuff. That's not as good there now. Now I could live with that. That looks good. Just going to zoom in on that. Yeah, I think that's my favorite. And as you can see, all the lines in the sky and whatnot are gone there now. That looks really good. Yeah, happy with that. So we're going to save that one. So that's shot number one, the saving Gigapixel AI. So on top here now, you can see the Topaz Photo AI version and underneath you have the Gigapixel AI version. So they're both very similar, really, I suppose, as such. The one thing um, I have noticed is that there's a small bit of blue creeping in just by the bird's leg there as such in the Gigapixel AI version. I actually only noticed when I started editing the photograph. But the big issue I did find is in the Topaz Photo AI, there was a lot of digital artifacts and lines coming through in the photograph afterwards. Something I experienced in Gigapixel AI, but I could actually remove it through the slider controls. I don't didn't have that option in Topaz Photo AI. So um, it's kind of a close one really on these two photographs. But for me, Gigapixel AI, I think has this one. What I'm going to do here though is I'm going to put all these photographs up on my website so you can actually download them and look at them for yourself. So you can then judge, am I right, am I wrong, and which one is better in high resolution yourself. So click the link in the description down below, it'll take you to my website and you can download them from there. So this is our second photograph now, uploading into Topaz Photo AI. And there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. That all looks good. So original on the left, our preview on the right. So um, enhanced resolution again is set to by four there now, sorry. Um, sorry, this is just sticking out of me here now. 
Um, I don't know a second. Switch off remove noise. Oh, that's a bit better. Yeah. Still not perfect, but a bit better. So better off without the remove noise on because it's not a particularly noisy image and we're comparing it to Gigapixel AI, not noise reduction or denoise AI. So um, yeah, that looks good enough there now. I'm going to go to natural there now to well again and see. I'm going to pull it back here a small bit because to be honest with you, I'm finding it very hard to see a difference in the two of them there now. So that is natural. And that is low resolution pulling in there now. I see a small bit more artifacts up here. It's really six of one and half a dozen of the other there now. There is very little difference in two of those, from what I can see there now anyway. I am going to go with natural more because natural isn't, that's not, see the section up here? That's just what I'm looking at here now. See that section here? Natural, go low resolution. And it just looks, it just looks a bit artificial. So yeah, I'm going to go with natural. So natural in this one here now. So I'm going to click on save. So currently opening shot number two in Gigapixel AI. What I'm going to do is zoom back out a small little bit because we want to see that hair above on top and we want to see the eyes and whatnot. That looks, that looks really good. Uh, what I can do is just leave the standard settings on there now on automatic. So we're going to go to standard. Standard looks good. Wow, look at the eyes. Look at the eyes. Look at the hair. That all looks really good. Obviously line CGI, very compressed. We'll try very compressed too as well. No, definitely not. Um, low resolution. Low resolution or standard? Oh, definitely standard. Look at the eyes. Standard, low resolution. The eyes and the hair, that just all looks better there now in standard. I think I found exactly what I'm looking for straight away. Everything is now automatic. I don't think that's going to get any better, being honest with you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save that. So here are the end results. Again, Topaz Photo AI above and top, Gigapixel AI underneath. And as we start zooming in along here now, you start looking at the fine detail in the hair. And there is very little to choose between the two of these photographs. Honestly, look at it now. I couldn't really tell the difference between the two of them. They are so, so, so very close. It's only when you start to zoom back out line again and you look at the face, the eyes and everything else in Gigapixel AI are just sharper. It's as simple as that. They're just sharper. So for me again, Gigapixel AI wins out in this one over Topaz Photo AI. So this is our third image here. Now I'm going to pull this back along a small bit here now again. And again, we're going to go for four times magnification on this one and wow that is i'm gonna get rid of remove noise because again we're not using that facility here that looks good enough so that is on low resolution we're going to go to natural here So what I'm going to do is, I'm just looking, there's a weak point in the photograph up along here. So I'm just going to look at that there also. So that's natural. Graphics are probably not going to look good. No, it's too soft. Low resolution. Low resolution again is, is looking better to me there. I'm just looking at the trees here and all those parts of the trees and there. And just those lines along the edges here and the line along the middle of the road. Natural. No, natural isn't. No, 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 no. So we're going to go to low resolution. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that one there now again. So we're opening out shot number three in the AI. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top. I'm going to zoom out a small bit. And we're going to go up to the top. The area where we found was slightly weaker already. So I think somewhere like that. Maybe go back another small little bit. So that's in standard there now. Um, you can see those branches are good enough. The road, I go back another small bit. Um, so that is in standard lines, art CGI, very compressed. We'll try very compressed, which is not going to work too mightily well again, I think. No, the road just looks completely smooth there now. And um, we're going to go to low resolution, give that a couple of seconds. Low resolution, wow, look at those branches down there. So low resolution are standard. Yeah, look at the branches. Look at those branches. Those branches look blurred on standard there now. Whereas when I go to low resolution, 
Boom, there we have it. Everything else looks really good. These branches here, uh, we just go standard. Yeah, there's no comparison. Look at this tree here now too as well down along here and look at all this. So if I go low resolution again, nah. Low resolution, definitely better there now. So again, low resolution, um, I'm not gonna mess with anything else there. I'm gonna leave that completely on auto too as well because I am guessing um, adjusting suppressed noise, there isn't an awful lot of noise in this now. Remove blur, out of curiosity. That's getting better again. Wow. Yeah, going to leave it at that. So we're going to click on apply. Looking at the results of the two of these, I honestly could not tell the difference between the two of them. Absolutely no way I could see a difference. There, there were, there, I was zoomed in at like over 100% and I couldn't tell the difference. If you can spot the difference, then fair play to you. So this one has to be a draw. So here we have shot number four in Topaz Photo AI. And I'm just looking at it here now. Everything looks kind of good enough there now at the moment. So we have a few options. So basically what I have is resolution, enhanced resolution is on by four. We're going to go to natural there now. And natural looks reasonably okay. There are, I'm just looking at, is that bow waves there? Or is it a bit of noise or digital artifacts? Probably bow waves and reflections, I presume. Reflections off the railing on the boat. Um, surfer on the back and everything else, yeah. That looks reasonably okay. Graphics then is probably not going to work. Checking that. No, person looks completely blurred there now. Low resolution is better. Uh, it's like a bit of noise in the back here and a bit of noise in the decking, but the decking is a lot sharper. So low resolution or natural, which one is better? Natural looks a bit blurred, looks a bit blurred. Low resolution definitely sharper here in the back and sharper there too as well but we have digital noise so natural or low resolution even natural you can see there's there's a bit of noise there too as well in artifacts so yeah i'm going to go ro low resolution on this one so low resolution and we're going to save that and pop it over to gigapixel ai then so here we have shot number four in gigapixel ai so uh the first thing i'm going to look at here now is those bow waves and whatnot and see if they're still there they are still there that all seems to be roughly around the same. Now, the one thing I noticed in the other photograph was the detail here on the, the back decking and the person and the board. That looks good enough and standard there now. Lines obviously isn't going to look great. No, it actually looks quite a bit noisy down there along. Art and CG obviously isn't going to work. I'm going to try it anyway. Absolutely not. Low resolution. Low resolution is a bit better, but that just doesn't look right on the person. Very compressed. Is that going to help? Is that going to work? No, it's not. That looks all very squiggly and the person looks wrong and that looks really bad too as well. I think standard, standard there now. That looks good. Boat looks good. Lines look good. Person looks good. Yeah. Um, again, we're just going to suppress noise. The image isn't very noisy, so we're just going to try... Is that making any difference? Pull these settings down along. Yeah, they actually weren't too bad, being honest, even on automatic. That looks good enough there now on standard, and it is by four two as well. So I'm going to save that because that looks good to me. So here we have Topaz Photo AI on the left and Gigapixel AI on the right. Now, um, when you look at the two photographs, there isn't a massive difference immediately. There's pros and cons for both of them. The Gigapixel AI just appears that bit sharper. Look at the back of the boat, look at the surfer. It definitely is fractionally sharper. The only thing with it is, if you look in the water, there's a slight bit of patterning in the water. Now you have to look really, really carefully in Gigapixel AI to see it, but it is there. In seeing that, I think you'd have to be looking really, really carefully because I'm zoomed way in in this photograph. So um, I, 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 I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give this one a draw. I'm gonna be kind to photo AI and say, this is a draw. Our last image here now, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on four by upscale again. I'm gonna bring that back down long and this is gonna be the hardest one out a lot 
because this person is going to, I'm just going to click on the remove noise. So it's enhanced resolution. I'm going to go to natural. How is that going to deal? Whoa. How is that going to deal with the person and the noise and the jagged edges? Yeah, that's, and low resolution. Low resolution is better, but there's something very funny going on here. Low resolution is reasonably okay. So low resolution or natural. Natural or low resolution. I'd be inclined to go on low resolution. But again, that just oh, looks very CGI-ish. I'm going to save that. So I'm opening shot number five, the beach photographed surfer in Gigapix Gigapixel AI. So what I can do is find a person there now first. So there we go. And that is in low resolution mode. I'm going to put everything on automatic there now again. So low resolution, that's not too mightily bad. We'll put it back to a similar distance as the last one. So low resolution is okay. Standard is not okay. Again, this is quite a noisy photograph, so I'm just testing it to see how it's going to work. Um, lines art, we'll try very compressed. Oh, wow. Wow. Very compressed works incredibly well there now. Um, just going to see how the rest of the image looks. Okay, standard, low resolution. All right, are very compressed. But very compressed looks super clean. Even, I'm looking at the fingers here now in the hand, the hair, look at the hair, look at the legs, look at the arm, that all looks really good. So that's very compressed. That's low resolution there now. You can see the lines on the legs, the foot doesn't look right, the arm, the hair, the hand, yeah, and we go standard. Yeah, just doesn't look the same. Unbelievably very compressed looks by far and away the best there out of all of them. It's it's unusual to find very compressed would would work better, but it is working better. So we're gonna save that one too as well, and let's go compare them all now. So here we have our final results of shot five. On top we have Topaz Photo AI, and underneath we have Gigapixel AI results. And again, for me personally, it's another win for Gigapixel AI, which means so far it's three wins for Gigapixel AI and two draws then between Topaz Photo AI and Gigapixel AI. So this is just backing up my own feelings and what I've noticed before in photographs. Again, maybe this is just my own personal choice and my own personal taste. You can go to my website. The link is going to be in the description down below. Download the photographs, have a look at the results for yourself and tell me if I'm right or if I'm wrong. I'm also going to be putting up um, a review too as well of Topaz Denoise AI versus Topaz Photo AI and also Topaz Sharpen AI versus Topaz Photo AI because again I found sort of similar things but I haven't tested it that much but I have found slightly similar results. So um, that's basically it. So uh, see you out there and see you in the next video.